Hello and welcome to yet another video looking at Flat Earth. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at a particular argument that Flat Earthers make in regard to observing the 24-hour sun either in the Arctic or the Antarctic. Um, I think they sometimes refer to it as the zigzag argument. Um, I watched the video about this and it's as best as I can make out, flat earthers seem to think that the sun would zigzag back and forward across the sky if you were near the in the Arctic or Antarctic when you were getting 24 hours sun. That's as best as I can make out what they mean. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what flat earthers are bleating on about a lot of the time, but um, I have to say, though, that even by the standards of flat earth, this is a astonishingly stupid argument. I mean, this is real moronic stuff. This is downtown stupid, it really is. It's a walk down Moron Avenue. I, it, I can't really express how stupid this whole thing is. I mean, not just this argument, and this whole flat earth thing, it's... It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I can't believe people are actually still talking about it and talking about it in greater and greater numbers when they haven't got a single real argument. Anyway, let's have a look at this particularly stupid argument that they make about the sun when you in the Arctic or Antarctic. Now, you can see in front of you, I've got... Um, a diagram ready that represents the Antarctic. So you've got the South Pole here in the middle and you've got an observer over here and I've drawn a circle around the, the observer to represent their horizon. So they're, they're going to be seeing everything within here. And I've also drawn on the four cardinal points on the compass. So you've got north, west, south, east. Now, the time of the... Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Also, you've got this yellow line here representing the direction the sun's coming from. So, the sun's come from a direction exactly on the other side of the South Pole from where they are. Okay, so the South Pole's here, the observer's here, somewhere within Antarctica, so they're getting 24-hour sun. And... um, Like I said, the sun's coming from this direction, so the, the observer at this time of day will be at midnight because this is when the sun is the farthest away from where they are and the sun will be at the lowest point in the sky. Now, if you are looking down on the world, on the earth, onto the South Pole, so you're like this above the South Pole looking down, then the earth will be rotating clockwise in your, from your perspective. So we'll be doing this. Okay. Now, this bizarre argument they make, it's got something to do with the fact that the line of the sun always stays in, from that direction or something, and they don't think the sun would look like it rotated right around the observer. Well, like I said, it's just embarrassingly stupid, but... Um, it's astonishing you, I would even have to make a video to explain this, but it's just indicative of the kind of mind-crunchingly stupid way you have to think in order to be a flat earther. So let's think about what actually happens. So this, the sun at this time is in a southerly direction. Then the earth rotates and six hours later, so about 6 a.m., the person's there. Now notice that the sun is now in an easterly direction. Okay? South is always pointing towards the South Pole. So they're going to be seeing the sun from the east. Another six hours later, so this is now midday, you can see that the sun is now in a northerly direction for this observer. 
go another six hours. So it's now 6 p.m. And you can see that the sun is now coming from the west. And then you go all the way around again. And the sun's coming from the south. Now, what it is that flat earthers, I think, have missed about this is that as the observer moves round, the landscape around them is rotating. Okay? So, when they're at midnight, they're over here. 12 hours later at midday, the land around them has rotated through 180 degrees. So the whole landscape around them is now facing the other way. Okay? So as they go round, the sun is south, east, north, west, and then south again. So it's gone all the way around their horizon. So they will see it moving around their horizon. So for the person here, as far as they're concerned, what they're seeing is this. The sun going around them like that. Now, from our perspective, that's anti-clockwise. But for a person on the ground, they're going to be seeing that as the sun moving clockwise around the sky. Because they're seeing it from a different perspective from us. Because we're looking down on the situation. So the sun will go from north to west to south to east and just keep going round like this. But what's really going on is that the Earth is rotating and the observer is moving round a circle round the South Pole. And the Sun, from the perspective of this observer, makes a complete circle around their horizon. And that's it. That's why you see the Sun circling round your horizon when you've got 24 hours Sun. I don't know why it's necessary to even explain that. It's astonishing, like I said. It's just... A whole new level of stupid. I mean, just when you think flat earthers can't say anything any more ridiculous, they manage to surprise you. They really do. So, show you once more. There you go. You can see the sun goes right round the person's horizon. Okay? Is that clear enough for you now? Good.